All right, everyone. Um, as you know, we can't have the program running, so we need to get creative and do our own workout. So that's what we're gonna do today is basically a workout of ball handling and a series of drills that basically everybody's done, uh, but really need to focus on these drills. And during this time, since we can't really get to a hoop or do team training, right? Uh, we should use this time to work on our weaknesses. And ball handling is one of those weaknesses that everyone across the club has. All right, everyone. So the goals that we want to set for ourselves during this one month break essentially is to become a better ball handler. Okay. We want to be comfortable with the basketball. Uh, we want to have confidence while we're having the ball in our hand and not like have it like a hot potato and then go and pass it straight away when the defense comes rushes me. You want to be able to handle pressure and be able to control the ball while having your eyes up, which we all have a problem doing when we have defense on us, and then seeing our open teammates or the gaps to score. So we want us to be thinking about these goals as we're doing our training. And another thing we want to focus on since we are focusing on a little tiny details is posture. You want to have good posture and a nice strong core all right while you're doing all of these drills so ultimately we want to have a strong stance while we dribble and we want to make sure that we're understanding all the details around dribbling the basketball all right everyone so we're gonna do our warm-up we're gonna spend about you know uh just a few minutes warming up our body it's nothing too strenuous this is the time we want to be thinking about what we're going to be doing mentally and then obviously getting our body warmed up so that we can have a nice strong workout which will be about you know 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes max with all the time from warming up to doing our work rest periods and cool down okay so this is the time to be thinking about mentally what we want to be doing so first let's just do some arm swings okay we'll probably spend about 10 15 seconds doing each of these warm-ups just so we can get a nice full body warm-up in and have a nice good workout all right so again you might want to get a watch get a get a phone stopwatch and just switch it around so you can keep track of your time all right so make sure we're going backwards now we want to make sure that we're warming up those shoulders and we're getting nice and loose for our body and then now a little bit of cross action here all right cross action okay that's it warming up those shoulders again we want to get that core nice and tight all right, next thing we wanna do is just some knee hugs. All right, it's just, again, we're, we wanna focus on our posture. That's something that all of us can definitely be better at is having better posture. So just going back and forth. And now remember, as I'm talking or if I stop, you keep on going, okay? You keep on working out as I'm discussing. I might, I might even lose the ball or I might go off topic and be uh, talking about something else. You over here in the screen or on the other side of the screen, you, keep on doing whatever it is that we're doing during that segment all right so again you just want to have nice tall shoulders shoulders back chest proud chest nice and high and bring that knee up to the chest and get nice and loose all right now let's spread our legs out and let's just go back and forth and warm up the groin it's a very important warm up right now that we want to do it's just going back and forth maybe touch side to side all right, we can also be working on our flexibility during this time away from each other. All right, if you get a little bit deeper stretch, why uh, spread out your legs, okay? All right, okay, now let's do something that we're all a bit weak at, inchworm. So keep your legs straight and then walk your, leg, walk your hands out, keep your legs straight, all right? And then back out, let's do that. Let's do that three times, okay? Three times. All right, and then we are back, all right? Okay, now, next one we're gonna do is the core. Okay, all right, so next one we got is our core, okay? And now this is the reason why we're working on our core is because we basically are gonna be getting a sore back because a lot of us don't use our backs or have a right posture when we are dribbling and we don't want to have a sore back and we definitely don't want to have any back injuries. So this is a very uh, unique kind of a drill. It's very simple, but the key area and element is to focus on the core. So we're going to put our backs on the ground. Okay. We're going to put our backs on the ground and we're just going to get comfortable. 
and essentially you want to drive your lower back to the ground so pretend like you're pushing your belly button through your back and then engaging your core and trying to flex and that's one set or one rep okay one rep is push your back to the ground you won't have any space between the back and the ground okay so that's one set and then another one is push it down push it down you feel that pushing down all right so hold it for two seconds one two release push one two release now again this is important for us to just get our back nice and strong get our back nice and strong and activate our core all right that's three one two two four one two five one two Again, we're just engaging our core so we can have a nice strong workout and not have any lower back pain. All right, six. Make sure you're breathing and counting. Push, push down, one, two, one, two. All right, last one, one, two. All right, maybe I missed one, let's do an extra one. One, two, nice and, nice and engage in that core. And you really wanna focus on having a nice strong core, really trying to push your back through the ground, okay? So that's our core warm up. Now let's do a little bit of a rocking exercise to finish up our warm up, all right? Right now, if you're outdoor, you want to, you probably already feel some sweat, all right? If you're indoor, you might have to work a little bit harder to get those first drops of sweat, but it's all up to you of where you can train. But remember, you wanna have a nice, open area whether you're in your house make sure there's no glass or anything maybe in your room or if you can go to a nice outside area where you can dribble and have some space to not lose the ball i would recommend you doing that uh, as you do this workout so just find a nice safe place to work out all right everyone so now we're going to move into our uh, ball handling portion the first bit is going to be uh pretty much no dribbling all right again we've already done a lot of these drills some of you that have been with me from the beginning or just join recently, we've done these drills time and time again, but now this is the time to focus on those drills and just spend time with the basketball, all right? You're not going anywhere out too much or playing too much outside, so let's use this time to really engage uh, our weaknesses. And again, ball handling is one of them. So we're gonna be basically be doing everything in 30 second intervals, whether it's right hand, left hand, changing direction, everything is gonna be 30 seconds and then some of you might not be able to do all 30 seconds, so just try to get up to that point. You might only do 15 seconds and then rest and then get to the next one another 15 seconds. But try to get to the 30 seconds. And again, do these drills often so you can have the full 30 second uh, intervals and the full, ultimately work up to the full minute interval, all right? Or as long as you can, as you get stronger and more capable. All right, so the first, the first ball handling drill is going to be just the finger grip. So get your fingertips activated and then just grip that ball. Push your fingertips into the ball one at a time. All right, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. All right. So we're here, we're just trying to just grip that ball. Work on those strong fingertips. So, so grab it and then release. And then go the other one. Grab it, left hand, and then release. Grab, right hand, release, left hand, release. Okay, all right, so that's 30 seconds. All right, now we're going to do some ball slap. So, like we're grabbing a rebound and you wanna pop that ball, okay? Again, you're using your fingertips, you are engaging your hand, and you are trying to just get comfortable with that basketball, okay? You can do it from side to side, you can do it from high to low, all right? It's just, again, just getting comfortable with the basketball, and slapping it, all right? So we did our finger grips, and then we did our ball slap. Okay, next one now we're gonna do is our ball wrap. So again, let's get that ball on the fingertips, and let's just wrap that ball around our head, okay? Now, keys are, keep your eyes up, okay? Be comfortable with the basketball. This is the best time not to look at the ball. There's no defense, all right? There's even no teammates around for the most part. It is just you and the basketball, and don't worry about losing it, okay? You might lose it, but make sure you don't break anything if you are in your house, okay? Let's go, let's switch direction. Another 30 seconds going the alternate way, okay? Now, wrap it all the way around like you're wrapping it around your 
forehead. Not on top of your head, but wrap it all the way around your forehead. All right? Maybe you go wide, big wide circles or small, quick, tiny circles. Okay? Now, again, if you are advanced, you should be going quick. If you're a beginner, you probably just be going a little bit slower, just depending on where your level is at. Okay? All right? Next one we're going to do is our weight wrap. Okay, so we're here. All right, let's get the ball on those fingertips and just wrap that ball around the waist. All right, now, as you get more comfortable, especially if you're outdoors in a safe area, you wanna be trying to push that ball and if you lose it, just go back and get it really quick, okay? And get right back into it. Again, you wanna keep your core engaged as we were talking about and pretty much having a nice stance. Again, we're building our strength, all right? Let's alternate, okay? Alternate, let's go the other direction, all right? Again, we're not looking at the basketball. We got our eyes up. We got a nice, strong core, and we're in a ready position. Our feet are straight, okay? Your feet wanna be straight and aligned with your body, okay? Just work it out. Make sure you breathe, and just get comfortable. With it. It's very basic, but you, def you just wanna get comfortable with the basketball. This is a great time to work on our ball handling. You can't go outdoors and play basketball with your teammates or use a hoop. Let's just become a better ball handler, all right? So we can be stronger on the court. Next one we got is our ankle wraps, all right? So put your feet together and you're either gonna go around your shin or you're gonna go around your ankle, depending on how low you can get. Now the key is with this, you wanna be sure that you have your hips back, all right? And you're not leaning your back like this but you got your back nice and straight, and you're just wrapping that ball, eyes up, all right? Hips back, back nice and straight, core engaged, all right? 30 seconds, and now we switch, okay? Now, if you're getting comfortable with this and you're feeling more advanced, you want to go quicker. You want to be moving that ball a lot quicker, okay? Keep on the fingertips. and get your 30 seconds in. All right, now that we got our head and our waist wraps and our ankle wraps, now we're gonna go around the world. Basically around your body, so you're gonna go around the head, okay? One time, around the waist, and then your ankles. We're just tying together what we just did, all right? Just wanna be here, working on that ball handling, and Getting comfortable with the ball movement in your hand. Now remember, if you lose the ball, don't worry about it. Just get right back into the drill, okay? All right, now let's switch direction. Now remember, keep your feet together, all right? And work it out, okay? Now remember, when you push back, when you push back, push those hips back, all right? Don't round your back. Don't round your back, and definitely do not bend over too far, lose your balance, okay? Okay, now for your people that are more advanced, you can end up doing that two times, all right? So you can do it two times, one, two, one, two, one, two. Back around the waist. One, two. All right, and that's, so that's a bit more advanced if you wanna do it more advanced the next time around. All right, guys. All right, now we're gonna go into our single leg wraps. All right, so we're gonna get in a lunge position. Okay, for those beginners, you might wanna be here with your knee on the ground and just wrapping it, okay? For those more advanced players, it doesn't matter how old you are or a professional like myself, you can all be doing these drills, okay? So here. We're here in a lunge position. Our back is nice and straight. We are not bouncing. We are not bouncing at all. We are just moving the basketball and we are not going up and down. That's how we just want to be right here. Right here. Again, looking up. Okay. And moving that ball around our shin or around the ankles if you can get that low. Okay. Let's go. Switch direction. Nope. Just keep your same leg. And just move that ball. All right. Again, you should be feeling a bit more comfortable, a bit more comfortable and confident with that ball in your hand right now. Just trying to go a little bit faster. 
by now you should be breathing hard even though we're not moving we're not breathing i'm sorry we're not running we're still working hard though all right we're still getting after it all right now let's switch it 30 seconds come on let's go we gotta push you guys it's all about that energy you bring to the workout all right doesn't matter if you have your teammates around or you're by yourself no coach around just gonna push yourself all right and just breathe keep on going 30 second 30 second interval remember if you need to change or rest take a bit of a rest okay all right let's go switch it around other direction eyes up and let's move that ball keep on breathing keep on breathing all right remember if you lose the ball don't worry about it, it means you're just getting better all right it's okay to lose the ball just so make sure you don't lose it in your tv or on your computer all right let's not break anything okay now again if you're hurting if your lower back is hurting your posture is off you want to be loading those hips right here as we're doing that you want to load those hips have a nice strong position keep that back nice and straight and move the ball okay next one we got figure eight move those legs apart and now let's just wrap that ball through the legs okay and if you if you can't do it like this and you're a bit more beginner just roll the ball okay roll the ball roll it on those fingertips but if you're advanced you want to be trying to move that ball fast oh sorry i was going the wrong way okay so here all right all right 30 seconds and now we're switching it around now remember if I'm talking or I stop, you keep on going until I tell you to stop. I'm, I'm trying to watch the time and work out with you at the same time. So we just want to make sure that we're in a nice stance. We're breathing. We're moving that ball around, keeping it on those fingertips. And moving it side to side, hand to hand. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Move the ball. Move the ball. Let's get comfortable with it. Keep those eyes up. All right? All right. Good job. We're going to go. We're gonna do a little bit, something similar to our figure eight, but now we're just gonna be feet together. We're gonna to wrap it around twice, one, two, and then wrap it around one, two, and then back. One, two, one, two, all right, let's go. One, two wraps, step forward, one, two, back, one, two, step forward. Two, two or three wraps, that's fine. We just want to make sure that we're wrapping and stepping forward and we're getting a little bit of dynamic movement going. Okay? All right. All right, let's try to alternate the direction. Let's try to alternate that direction. It's a bit harder, a bit more challenging. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. All right, so we got about a minute of that in. So again, just keep on working on it. Okay, guys. All right, next one we got is our drops, all right? So there's two ways to do this. You can be here and you can let the ball bounce and then you grab it. I would recommend if you're in the house, this is what you want to do, all right? Because you don't want to be slapping that ball forward or breaking anything, all right? So you let the ball, you're here in a stance. Again, hips back, back straight, eyes up, chin up. And we're in that stance and we're dropping the ball and then grabbing it from behind. Okay? Now again, if you're outside and you're a bit more advanced, you might be a little bit quicker. So you might be here, and then you just go back and forth. Again, you wanna try not to look at the ball and just work on that ball handling. Work on that ball handling as fast as you can. Again, moving the ball quick, all right? We're gonna do this for a minute, okay? If you lose the ball, don't worry about it. So again, advanced is, no drop. If you're a beginner, drop, bounce, let it bounce once, and then grab it, okay? Next one. Another part of the drop family is you're gonna alternate it, okay? So you're gonna have one hand in front and one hand behind, all right? So one hand in front with the ball, one hand behind, and then again, you just drop it and then rotate, okay? Again, you don't wanna be, try not to, try not to look at the camera, but don't worry about losing the ball, okay? All right, all right, like this, okay. That's it, keep it up, it's going back and forth. 
Okay, beginners can drop it. Advanced players, you're trying to go back and forth and then you're trying to be quick. All right. We're doing that for a minute each, okay? Okay, so here we are. Another drop, drop exercise. Ball on top of your head, nice and high. And then you just drop, cast it behind your back. All right. So you start the ball on top, on top of your head, and then you try to grab it behind you. All right. Up on top, drop it again. This is just it's very simple, but it's hard. All right, we're working on the dexterity, those motor skills. Trying to grab the ball behind you, have it on top, move your hands behind. All right, we got another 20 seconds of this. All right. And just again, it's just being comfortable with the basketball. Nothing fancy. Nothing crazy, out of the ordinary. Just simple ball handling drills that you can do in the space of your room, two meter box, and just really just get familiar with that ball so we can all come back better ball handlers, hopefully in May. All right, everyone, your backs might be hurting a little bit, you might be a little bit sore. All right, if you are, try to do that exercise to engage the core a little bit more. Uh, but now we're pretty much done leaning over and now we're going to Put the ball in our fingertips and we're just going to go side to side little finger taps okay so you have the ball in your fingertips and you're just going back and forth side to side all right you want to be quick and if you lose the ball don't worry about it you just got to keep on just getting comfortable with that basketball all right we're gonna do 30 seconds posts and now we're gonna go wide and now another 30 seconds going wide as wide as you can all right if you can if you're advanced you're out here straightening your arms Okay, and going back and forth. If you're not so advanced, you might bring it a little bit closer with your arms, but again, we're building that strength. So we wanna be right here. Okay, we're not looking at the basketball, we're engaging those fingertips. Again, we're still in our nice strong stance and we're ready to move that ball, okay? Next one we got, guys, is our finger rolls. Okay, so this is like our underhand layup. Okay, so you just have the ball in your hand, you're just getting comfortable flipping that ball. In your head, use your imagination. Think about hitting it off the backboard. Aiming for that inside square and making that open layup or even that contested layup high off the glass. If you are one of those players that's finished with a floater, and just control it with one hand right now. Again, we're just getting comfortable. Get that spin on the ball. Some of us don't have any spin on the basketball and this is a good time to just flip the ball and again you want to flip it you flip it flip it with your hands off your index finger your middle finger just like you're in training and we're working on all our fundamentals okay so just catch it with the same hand now we're going to switch it over let's go to the other hand again it might be i might be off by 30 seconds i might be 40 seconds but just keep on working with me and we'll all stay on time together okay all right so just flip that ball get it up and down Try not to look at it, but you might have to. Not everybody is as uh, advanced as I am, all right? So it's okay to look at the ball for this drill just so you don't lose it, especially if you're at home. Keep your eye on that ball best you can so you get more comfortable, okay? All right, we're going another five seconds, all right? Again, this is our finger roll, right hand, left hand, all right? And now we're gonna go alternate. We're gonna alternate that ball, okay? We're here, we're alternating it again, we're flipping it, and we're getting comfortable. Using that imagination, thinking about our layups, nice soft touch, and becoming a great ball handler. All right, Eight, the month of April is gonna be the month of ball handling, okay? Everybody can do this. Everybody can be a better ball handler this month, all right? Let's make the most of our time apart and let's become stronger basketball players nonetheless. Okay, good job. We did our ball handling part. Now we're going to jump into our fitness of the session. Today's fitness will be a little bit lower of intensity, well, depending on how fit you are. Um, but nonetheless, it'll give us that workout. Again, we've already warmed up, we've done our ball handling. Now we're going to get into just some technique and fitness form, okay? Let's start working on our legs, all right? We should already be feeling the burn on our legs. And let's just do some squats, all right? So we're going to push our hips back and we're going to put our hands out. Hold for a second, all right? Let's go. So your hips back, hands out, hold, okay? Hips back, 
pull. All right. Okay. You want to make sure you have a good wide base. Again, we have a, our, our chest is out. Our core is nice and engaged. And just put your hands out, hips back. Okay. All right. Okay. Now let's just bust out six. Let's bust out six. Nice and quick. All right. So we're here, hips back. One, drop, hold. One. Okay. Go. Drop. Two. Push those hips back. Three. Four. Two more. Five. Let's hold this one for five seconds at the end. Okay. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then pop back up. All right. Good job. Our last finger tap. Very easy, but quite challenging. Okay? We're just going behind our back. All right? Our shoulders are back. Our shoulders are back. And we're just flipping that ball side to side. All right? We'll just do this for 30 seconds. Got 10 more seconds. All right? If you get more advanced, get more comfortable, really push it. You should be feeling a little bit of strain in your shoulders. And that's a good thing. The more pain, the more gain. All right? That's it. You're back behind taps. Guys, something that we all need to work on, our jumping ability, our ability to get off the ground in a vertical leap, all right, so we can rebound and be more athletic than all of our opponents, all right, so we're going to do a knee tuck jump, again, in your ready position, talking about our posture, proud chest, shoulders back, and you want to drive through your hips, through your core, and get off the ground, all right, so you load and then drive, okay, plyometrics, okay, Load through your hips, and then use your arms and drive. Okay, that's it, drive. All right, we got 10 of these. Seven more, we already did three. Let's go. Six, five, come on, get up. Four, use those hands to drive that power like you're getting that rebound. Three, try not to let your knees come in like mine were just doing. Keep your knees out, don't let them buckle in. I think we got to do five more just for safe measure. Okay, three, two, come on, get up. Come on, get up, one more. That's it, good job. Okay guys, next one. We're here, we're in push-up position. Okay, so we're on our hands, four points on the ground. Again, this is the way you wanna look, okay? Nice push up position as if you're gonna go down here and go. That's all right, buddy. All right, so let's get on our hands. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, you two. Okay. Now we're gonna go taps. All right. So we're in a push up position and we're just gonna go tap. Tap. All right. Get a nice wide base if you need to or bring it in if you want a bit more advanced. Okay. Try not to rock. Try not to rock. Just go back and forth. One, two, six, six each. Okay, three, four, five, six. All right, good job. Okay, you can put this on pause and you can do another set of that in 30 seconds. It's up to you how much you wanna get in this workout. All right guys, last one. Give yourselves a good, nice high five. Or whoever you're next to, your, your, your parents, give them a high five. Hopefully they're doing it with you or watching you do it. All right? All right. It's all about the energy, guys. All about the energy you bring to the workout. Okay, next one is plank. Just a simple front plank, side, side. 30 seconds each. This is challenging. We're going to try not to hit the ground. If you do, try to get back up. You might be shaking. You might feel a bit cramping in your core. This is all good stuff. Don't worry about that, just fight through it. Mental toughness, all right? Okay, here we go. On the ground, front plank, ready, set, up. Okay, we got 30 seconds of this. Okay. I think we're at 30 seconds. Now we're gonna to go to the side. Whatever side you like to go to, okay? 
Let's go, another 30 seconds. Put your hands up if you want to be a bit more challenged. Okay, if you need a uh, beginner method, split your legs. If you can't do that, then go up and down. But most of us should be able to hold it straight. Okay? Okay? If you drop, don't worry about it. Just get right back into it. All right, we got five more seconds. Okay, let's go, let's keep it up. Switch it around. Okay, another last 30. Last 30 of some work, hard work. Okay, 25 seconds. Let's go. Remember, you can't do this, split your legs or drop. Okay, and then you go up and you drop. All right, but we wanna be here. We wanna be here holding it. Advance, if you really advance, put your leg up and hold it. Working those side obliques, all right? All right, we got five more seconds. Let's push two, five, four, three. All right, good job, guys. All right, that's just the end of this session. Good job. We're gonna bring it back and keep on building on this, keep on working on our fitness. Now, again, you can do this as much as you want. It doesn't have to be once a week. Do it two times a day. Do it before your school starts, after your school starts. Come home and do this. Whatever it is, guys, let's stay active during this time and let's stay motivated. All right, good job everyone. All right guys, just got a mile in. You guys can do it too after you do your workout. Let's get a little bit of a run and then we'll do our cool down stretch. Now with the cool down stretch, it's important to do a static stretch. When you warm up, you wanna do a dynamic stretch, moving around, but when you do your cool down, you wanna be nice and, and hold it if you can with your balance. If you're not dizzy like me right now. All right, you wanna hold it for 20 seconds. But for today's purpose, let's go to the ground a bit less challenging and let's do our cool down from down here so just put your legs out spread them out and just reach try to touch your toes if you can't touch your toes you got to work on that flexibility and you got to get to that point try to get both arms out if you can and just bring that toe back and let's hold it for 20 20 30 seconds you at home you can do it as long as you want you can put your phone down your computer next to you and just hit the pause button and use this time to just mentally reflect on your workout and just congratulate yourself for doing a good job as long as you're pushing yourself and making it to the end all right let's go let's switch it over all right now remember 15 30 seconds is the recommended length of time but just make sure you're stretching those elongating those muscles okay letting your body cool down really want to get a deep stretch put your head down and get a deeper stretch and then try to work on that breathing as you stretch even every breath every exhale try to get a little bit deeper breathe in exhale head down all right let's go let's reach to the middle all right remember just put your head down Keep your head down while you're doing this. Each breath, try to get a little bit more. All right? So be feeling that stretch right in your hamstrings, okay? Okay, next one we got, let's do a figure, uh, sorry, right over left, glute stretch. Now you should be feeling this stretch right here in the gluteus maximus muscle. Biggest muscle of the body. You really just hug, hug that knee and bring it in. All right, let's go, let's switch it over. Same thing, left over right. If you really wanna get a much more of a stretch, use your knee to push out on your foot. 
to get a deeper stretch, okay? After you do this a few more times, you should be feeling your flexibility increasing and improving, which is something I know all of us need to work on. Our flexibility as a group is horrendous, just being honest. So again, let's use this month, April, to become better in our flexibility and improve our dexterity and just understanding of how to work out. All right, it's all comes in, all comes into play. All right, learning everything you've done in the past, bringing it forward to right now and building on it as you have a strong fundamental building blocks. Now we build a stronger house on top of those fundamentals, on top of those blocks. All right, a stronger house of becoming a better athlete, which will help us become better basketball players or better athlete in whatever other sports you guys do. So help us for everything, our fitness. All right, next what we're gonna do guys is just a normal side quad pull. Okay, this is normal. Those are a bit more advanced. Bring in your other foot and push that knee back. Push it back, bring it in. Now don't over, don't over stretch, don't pull anything. Just get it to where you feel it. And then with every breath, pull it back a little bit more. Work on elongating those muscles and just stretching it out, okay? Again, you can do this longer if you want and it feels good, all right? If you get a deeper stretch, you can lay down and then try to get your shoulders back. That'll give you an even deeper stretch. All right, let's go, let's flip it over. Let's grab your left and pull it in, fill it, hold it for about five seconds. Okay, and then bring in that right knee into your left and push back. All right. So make sure you're breathing. If you have your water next to you, drink water during the stretch. And just use this time Pull down. Keep on pushing it a little bit deeper. All right, guys. Okay, next one. Since we are using our arms quite a bit today, just while we're sitting down, let's just go right a left over right, stretching that shoulder muscle. We'll just do 10 seconds of this. And then bring it over and then push that elbow back. Okay, let's go, let's switch it around. Use a lot of our arms today. So we wanna make sure that we're cooling down our whole body. We're almost there, we got one more arm stretch. Loosen up our back real quick, and then we'll be done. That's a good workout. All right, let's go. Left arm up, try to touch your shoulder blade, and then push back that elbow. Sorry, I lied, we got a few more stretches. Let's do the hip flexor, okay? This is a neglected muscle. We don't stretch, but we use a lot. Okay, you wanna get in a kneel position and you wanna push your hips, okay? You wanna try to feel that stretch right here. Your hip flexor is right about here where your hip and your thigh meet. It's that muscle. It's very important. We run, we jump, we do a lot of that stuff. So if you wanna get a deeper stretch, put your arm up and then push that forward. You gotta stand up straight though. You gotta be in the straight and then line it up all the way around. Yep. And then push it. That's it. Okay, let's go. Let's switch it over. Yeah, just 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 where you feel it. So you're here. And just again, just push it up, try to lengthen out that arm, and then reach back and push forward. You should really be feeling that stretch right here. If you can't do it the more advanced way, just try to push your hip forward with your hand. Keep your balance. If you need to hold on to something, then go to a wall and try to work on that balance. But ultimately, you want to be at a point where you can hold your balance and get the stretching. Okay, next one here, we're going to a scorpion. 
here. Just sink your hips. Again, you should be feeling it in your stomach, in the hip flexor, and a little bit in the back. And then get your, get your chin up. Reach it to the sky. So I should be feeling a bit of a neck stretch. Okay, that's it. Now, bring it back into a downward dog. Some of you guys might know this from yoga. If you've done yoga, and then just put your, sink your head into the ground. Stretch out those shoulders, push those hips back. Push those hips back. Alex, push those hips back. You should be feeling a stretch in your shoulder. And ultimately, you want to be trying to sit on your heels, all right? And then elongating your ankle muscles, all right? It's something you got to work into. It might hurt, but it's a good stretch. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's it. Now, remember, you can just flip this thing right back, start from the beginning, and do it all over again. Okay, it's up to you and what you want to get in the workout. Now again, stay motivated. We got to use this month wisely and become stronger athletes, better ball handlers. All right, good job everyone. See you next time.